Hello mga teachers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, pag-uusapan natin ang mga measures of central tendency. So for pag-measures of central tendency, tandaan nyo lang, kinukuha lang natin yung center or the middle of the given set of data. So for measures of central tendency, meron tayong three types. The first one is mean, second is mode, I mean median, third is mode. So pag-usapan natin yung mean. So tandaan nyo lang kapag mean, we are just going to get the arithmetic average. So, paano po yun? Ganito lang. Add all the given set of data, then divide it by the number of the data. So, for example, meron na akong data na 1, 2, and 3. So, ang gagawin mo lang, add mo lang silang tatlo. 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6 divided by the number of data, which is 3. So, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So, meaning, ang mean natin is 2. Next, we have the median. So, pag median, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, kukuha nyo lang yung middlemost number. So, pag median po, meron tayong two cases. The first one, kapag yung number of data mo is odd, you're just going to take the automatically the middlemost number. For example, ang, ang mga odd numbers natin ay 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Yung hindi divisible by 2. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, uh, get the middlemost number automatically. For example, 1, 2, and 3. So, ang ito po ba ay add? Yes, 3 po sila. Okay? So, get the middlemost number, 2. So, yun po yung median. Next, kapag ang case naman natin ay even yung number of data, for example, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, apat na sila. So, ang number of data natin is even. So, just get, take the two middlemost number, which is 2 and 3, then divide it by 2 para kumakuha natin yung kalahate. So, 2 plus 3, is 5 divided by 2, that is 2.5. So, automatically, or meaning, ang um, median natin is 2.5. So, ganun lang kapag uh, add, just get the automatic middlemost number. Kapag even yung number of data, take the two middlemost number and divide it by 2. Next, kapag mode, it's just the most frequent number. So, ano ba pag sinabi nating most frequent number? It is the uh, numbers or number of the data na nauulit. For example, 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2, 3. So, ano po ba yung naulit doon? 2. So, meaning, ang mode natin doon is 2. Okay. So, pag-usapan pa natin ng mas malalim yung measures of central tendency natin at kung paano siya tinatanong sa board exam. Dapat alam natin siya kung paano i-a-apply sa questions. Okay. So, pag mean, sinabi ko, ito yung arithmetic average. Pero, si mean po, yung tinuring din natin most reliable measures of cent measure of central tendency. Bakit po siya yung most reliable? Ganito. Pansinin niyo po yung three uh, measures of central central tendency. Kanino po tayo mostly nagko-compute? Edi kay mean. So meaning si mean po yung mas reliable kasi pansinin niyo yung median and mode, pwede niyo siyang masagutan with just mere observation. But for the median not all the time. Okay. So, si mean, mean din po yung should not be used when there are extreme scores. So, ano po ba yung mga ex extreme scores na tinatawag natin? So, ito po yung mga score or data na mal number na malayo sa normal na data. For example, 1, 2, and 50. So, yung normal natin is 1, 2, 3. Yung sinabi ko kanina. Ano sino yung 1, 2, and 3? Magkakalapit lang sila. Okay. Pero pag yung 1, 2, and 50... Yung 50 po, sobrang layo niya dun sa dalawa, given data. Hindi siya normal. Okay. So, ang gagawin niya dun, uh, kapag pag masasabi natin siyang hindi reliable, yung pansinin niyo yung mean niya, lalay, lalayo. Oh, for example, 1, 2, and 3. Ano po ang mean nun? Sinabi ko kanina, 2. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Kapag 1, 2, and 50, nagkaroon tayo ng extreme score, pansinin niyo yung magiging mean natin. So, 50 plus 2 plus 3, that's, ay, plus 1, that's 53, divided by 2, 26.5. Pansinin nyo, yung dahil lang dun sa isang data na extreme, na apektohan na ng sobra yung mean natin. From 2, naging 26.5. So, meaning, si mean po ay hindi reliable kapag meron tayong extreme scores or other term is outliers. Sumunod? Si median. So, ano naman gagamitin natin kapag may extreme scores? So, ang gagamitin natin ay si median. O, pansinin nyo, sinabi ko kanila, ito yung middlemost number. Si median, 1, 2, and 3. Ano po yung median? 2. 
1, 2, and 50. Ano pang median? Naging 2 pa din. Pansin niyo kahit meron tayong extreme scores, or extreme scores, hindi nagbago yung median natin. So, hindi po siya affected by extreme scores or outlier. So, si median po is the most reliable if there are extreme scores or outlier. Okay. So, yun na yung difference silang dalawa. Anong ulit pag most reliable? Measure of central tendency. That is mean. Kapag may extreme scores, edi median. Okay. Mode. Si mode po, sinabi ko na most frequent number or yung now ulit na number. So, ganito. Meron tayong types of mode That is bimodal, trimodal, and multimodal And no mode Pag no mode po, edi walang naulit na data O for example, 1, 2, and 3 Wala pong naulit na number dun sa given data ba? Diba? So walang mode, no mode Paano naman kapag 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 5 Again, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 5 So ang nangyari, dalawa yung mode natin Which is 2 and 4 So ang ating type of mode is bimodal. Kapag tatlong, tatlo yung mode, edi trimo, trimodal. For example, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. So, ano yung mode natin? 2, 4, and 5. So, na, nagkaroon ng tatlong mode, trimodal. Kapag mas marami pa, multimodal. Okay. So, practice natin siya. Let's practice. So, pag, pag sabihin nyo lang, uh, tinutukoy ko, sumagot po kayo. So, 70% of what you say, remember, sabi ni Edgar Dill. So, sagot kayo na sagot dyan dapat. So, let's practice. Ano, what is the most reliable measures of central tendency? That is mean. Next. Most frequent number? Mode. Very good. Next. Middle most number? Median. Okay. Most reliable when there are extreme scores. Kapag meron daw outlier, that is median. Next. Oh, may ganitong mga tanong sa board exam. Bibigyan kayo ng given set of data. Tapos, itatanong, what is the best measures of central tendency to be used? So, ano kaya ang magandang measure of central tendency gagamitin natin? So, meron tayong 1, 4, 600, 8, 3, and 5. So, pansin ninyo, meron tayong extreme score. Merong malayo doon sa normal na data. So, ano mas magandang imitin? Mean, median, or mode? E di, median. Kasi kapag kinampute nyo yung mean yan, sobrang malayo na sa normal dahil sa extreme score ka. Pero kapag kinuha nyo yung median nito, yun pa rin. Hindi siya masyadong nagbago. Okay, next. 1, 4, 2, 3, 5. Okay, so pag 1, 4, 2, 3, 5, wala tayong extreme score. So, ang mas maganda gamitin is si mean. Okay, so kayo nang bahala mag-compute ng mean yan. Next, uh, ano daw yung mode nito? Mode. Meron bang mode? Yes, meron. That is 2 and 3. So, ito ay bimodal. So, 2, naulit siya. Si 3, naulit din. So, bimodal. Okay, so for more videos, Uh, please click subscribe para mas ma-inspire pa ako mag-upload ng marami pang videos. Thank you!